break yourself, fool! Give me your chair! And I'm Seamus. And this is the Zero Level. Where our opinions form the baseline for yours. Hell yeah, Saints Row 2, bitches! Bitches! We got MC Rection from Emergency Pizza Party up in He's this bitch. He's a gangsta bitch! Gangsta better, like a motherfucker. You better believe that shit. Hell yeah, dicks and dudes and blowing dudes. Show me how to blow dudes! Blow dudes! Show me how to blow dudes! Show you how to blow dudes! God damn it, I don't think that gangsters are really supposed to be all that gay, unless you're like... Nah, but there's gay the Tony, the like, rapper. Like, ballad of Gay Tony from uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, but we're not, not talking about Grand Theft Auto. Forget Fuck Grand Theft fucking... Auto. So how's it going, gentlemen? The faggot is your boss. Sure. Was made for funny times at bonus time. Hysterical, hysterical. Well, recently PlayStation Network had Saints Row 2 for free as part of their yeah. E3 exactly. like, giveaway. Saints Row, Actually, Saints Row 2 was awesome. PSS PS Plus. Yeah, PS, uh, PlayStation yeah. Network Plus. They got you hooked up with Saints Row 2, Infamous 2, a bunch of games. Saints Row 2 was kind of on the top of the list for me, though, because Xbox a lot, you know, Xbox had, you know, Saints Row 1. Played a little bit of it before, never got a chance to go all the way through. Wait, can you even get Saints Row 1 on the PlayStation? You can't. <laughs> That's enough. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, get on your feet. We all went through that. Blood in, blood out. Welcome to the Third Street Saints. So everybody that has a PS3 can't even play Saints Row 1. Nope. So That's just, awesome. So you I just like jump, having an Xbox. So you just jump right into Saints Row 2 and you have no fucking clue what's happening. It's like, my guy was in an explosion? You'll never guess who's awake. You're shitting me. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. So, Saints Row 2, which is a much better game than Grand Theft Auto anything. Seriously, the game just kicks you right into overdrive, you know, you break out of prison, you start going uh, through trying to find the rest of the gang members again, trying to get back, uh, back together with Johnny Gat, and, you know, you just start, you know, kicking ass and taking names. Well, that's fucking great. Look, I know you didn't ask for it, but my advice is to just keep your head down. The cops are looking for you and a lot's changed. 
I say you just go buy a beer and soak up as much information as you can. And you're just a punk now in the city. You gotta, you gotta accept that. Lay low, put your head, you know, just, just stay out of trouble. Fuck that! We definitely need to remind motherfuckers who we are. And that can't wait until after dinner? No. no. <laughs> you two haven't changed at all. Well, you know, there's a saying about dogs and blowing shit up. <laughs> Speaking of staying out of trouble, I know someone that doesn't know how to stay out of trouble, and that's this motherfucker. He just goes around so, killing everything randomly. You don't oh, even yeah. care about the storyline in these games. So how far actually into the story are you in the game right now? Because because I beat the game, chose to beat the game a while ago, but how far into it are you? Uh, I broke out of jail, I met up with the Johnny Gat guy, bust him out of the court. Yeah, that's a good scene. And killed, you know, all the judges, the cops, all that. And uh, that that's pr probably the last big thing. Well, then I went in to the shanty town yeah. or little area to, you know... Uh, Get your home base. It's kind of a shithole. True that. But it's a shithole with potential. All tour has taken over the whole Saints Row area, um, literally Saints Row, and um, they've basically been renovating. So what happens is, is that the city, while it looks the same and a lot of the landmarks are the same, it's still been changed. Like, they don't even tell you how long you've been in Oma for. <laughs> they you never just been gone it. a long time. Yeah, they never, they never once say how long it's been. All the people will say is, Did you do something with your hair? Now, I've been getting that a lot. So anyways, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I, I generally like to have the thought that we make ourselves in our own image much as God made humans into so, his. So, so Rich, my guy's a big black guy. Shane my, my, made my, himself. I, 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 like, I like myself. Rich, what Rich, Rich, yeah, you what's your guy? Uh, I, I went with a girl, Asian, black and green hair, and I really like using the samurai sword and riding on the little motorcycles with her. So, so you're, you're, just, you're basically like Kill Bill all the time. Yeah, MC MC Rection, I like the Kill Bill stuff. MC Rection, you're gonna like a, you're gonna like a part later in the game that's uh, reminiscent of, what is it, the 88s? Oh, yeah. I prefer close quarters combat. We won't fail you, Nietzsche, like we failed Oren. Oh, oh. We're supposed to be winning! Ah. For me, like, a lot of getting into the game and actually jumping into it and having a lot of fun with it were a lot of the side missions and stuff you could get into. It's nothing a shower can fix. I'm sure those people deserved it for something. Uh, mayhem, which is a lot of fun. It just it, the idea is you just go around, blow shit up. They give you infinite ammo. Certain weapons. Everything. Yeah, they give you choice. And you weapon. just start just destroying everything. Uh, insurance frauds come back in this one too, although they insurance frauds very fun. Up. Have you played the insurance fraud yet? I haven't version? tried that one. It's, uh, it's just basically, it's it's basically like you're, running, you're running around and you're trying to take as much damage as possible. Right. The more distance and air in vehicles you hit, the more you injure yourself, the more money you get towards to go towards a goal. This is what I liked about Saints Row 2. And like you said, you've played 1 a little bit. You haven't. But in 2, there's a lot of interactivity with characters that you see from 1. Like, uh, there's uh, Legally... Drop it. Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? I mean, you're doing missions for people you've done missions from before. Now, in the first game, you don't talk. This one, you do. So the interaction is really cool. You know, you bump into Mr. Wong. Troy, uh, Troy the, is now the oh, police the line, chief. What, what's the line that uh, that the main character gives when, when uh, Mr. Wong shows up? It's, uh... This guy used to have me running around killing guys in hot dog suits. That was one of the Hitman missions in the first one. So, I mean, there's a lot of really cool stuff that ties back into the other thing. And once again, like I say, three... Well... Two and three, they got nothing to do with each other. They may as well just be like this or something, and as what far away as possible. Was, uh, the three got nothing to do with nothing, man. Some weird gang sign? What are you doing? Da, 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 I don't know. So now, Rection, you said that you've just been going around fucking shit up. Yeah. So, you know, and you said you played the Grand Theft Auto games. What's your comparison to realistic versus cartoony? I mean, to me, it's obviously some, similar to Grand Theft Auto. I, I played 3 and I played Vice City, and I essentially did the same thing. I just like to run around, steal shit, blow shit up, cops come after me, kill them till I fucking get killed. And that's, I just have fun doing that. Um, but I just like Saints Row 2 better just because you can customize your own character. And it seems like there's just more to do... Um, I don't know, it's just more fun 
the fact that really you use whatever character you like to do. Or do like you see yourself use. going through the whole story mode just to see yeah, what's going on? Yeah, I do. I try to, but I'm really easily distracted, and then I'll go through the story mode, and then I'll just decide like to do something else. And I feel like killing a bunch of people. Here's Johnny. <laughs> If you take off all of the characters clothes and press I think what down or up twice down. it starts a streaking mission and you run naked and it just covers up your jiggly bits. Maybe maybe the game is kind of sexist though cuz the one girl lieutenant you have in the gang Shandi is a kind of a slut. I wouldn't say she's a slut, she's just a free lover, man. She's, you know, the she's 60s. A hippie. She's a hippie, yeah, you know. She's a slut. Hacky sack girls that hacky sack like to put out. I know where the Akujis lay their heads. I doubt any of your lieutenants have that information. I don't know. Shondi's fucked a lot of guys. Gat's talking sense. I think she's probably my favorite of the lieutenants, though. Beyond, beyond Pierce, I, well, Pierce has some moments. Pierce gets treated like shit. I mean, I love the dream house you built here and everything. But what if we just start here, walk into the casino, and just shoot all the motherfuckers that are between us and the money? Well, you know... It will be a lot faster. And a lot more fun. Yeah, but... Fuck it. Let's go. Good call, Johnny. Do you feel that the control scheme is pretty tight? Yeah, oh, that is the one thing. Driving is so much easier, I feel. <laughs> yeah. So I really well, because like it's that. cartoony and it's not meant to be realistic. Yeah. Well, this is Grand Theft Auto, I don't think. I mean, well, that's when you slide I mean, over the well, I mean, well, have you seen the video where people are where people turn the physics off for the uh, inertia on the cars in Grand Theft Auto 4? That video is fucking hilarious. <laughs> The one game that I keep having problems with is the zombie game, where you just go into your TV. I don't know if oh, you've seen yeah. it. I've played that. Yeah, and it, it gets kind of hard towards the end. Like, Are you supposed to keep the survivors? Is it okay if they die? I never figured that, that part out. It doesn't explain anything. That's the problem. It's just like, zombie game, would you like to play? Yes, okay, you're fighting zombies now with some redneck. And you're like, <laughs> guys behind her, the zombies will take over the world. And it's like, well, then why do you give me the option to walk out of the door? <laughs> it's invisible walls with a conscience. We should just walk out that door and see what happens. Hmm. Hey, Simpson, I'm feeling a mite peckish. Mind if I chew your ear? <gasps> Dad, you killed the zombie Flanders. You was a zombie? But, no, the rest of the game is, is filled with tons of stuff like that, though. You can play, you know, Casino games at the the one casino that the Ronins have set up shop in. You can uh, do races. You can do with the taxi driving, ambulance. Uh, you really feel like you're part of the world. One of my favorite like missions beyond like the 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 insurance fraud is probably Fuzz. So uh, you cops use chainsaws, right? I have never seen police work like this. <laughs> this is going to be the best episode of the season. Storyline though is pretty good too. Like I, I mean, I don't want to spoil too too much, but I have to say, like the Ronin storyline, especially where you have the whole, you know, father son relationship right. between the you know the one guy who's running uh, the Ronins in you know Stowater, and uh, you get to the point in the story where the father shows up and the kid's trying to you know impress his father. It's like well, I'll kill the saints, I'll kill the saints. Meanwhile, you know, the guy just looks like a complete tool bag. Is everything okay, father? He's dead, Shogo. Junichi is dead. And all I'm left with is you. Is that so bad? It's worse than you could ever imagine. You know, he ends up getting, he ends up doing a lot of shit to just look bad. I mean, I, like I said, I don't want to spoil the whole game either, since, especially since you haven't been in storyline. Yeah. I haven't but um, basically, all, all the gangs, there's a lot of typical gangster stuff from old movies that you'd see that you'd be like, he's not going to do this. Oh my God, they really did do this. <laughs> Is you home? say what happened to Carlos was bullshit.
Now, now going back to the whole cartoony thing, though, there are a few things that I think are, are pretty silly overall. Um, the trailblazing minigame. Have you done any of the trailblazing yet, Mike? Mm -hmm. It's so the one where you get on the four wheeler and you're in the fireproof suit and you're trying to blow up as much stuff. And as you possible. literally roll through I don't cars. Think I've done that. It's basically races. Just, 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 get just, done. just, just look it up. But, but trailblazing <laughs> in the game is hilarious because you're just rolling through cars. They're just exploding left and right, flying into people. You're getting all this time added into it. And I, I never really understood why they had you do that. I know the first one it's supposed to be because you're shooting for a movie. The second one, I don't really know you're why you're doing it to do cause chaos. Yeah, is it just blowing shit up, I guess? I guess. I mean, because it makes the police and fire busy, so mm -hmm. I guess it clears up more respect that you just don't give a fuck. You know, I mean, the Saints wrote, the Saints definitely become superstars after this game, because in the third one, they're movie stars and all this other crazy shit, like... It, it, that's the only tie-in that I can even see is that they've gotten so popular and they use the same lieutenants, but they, the characters don't even feel the same in the third one. Japanese commercials, easiest money you'll ever make. I don't give a fuck about racing, okay? I'm tired of this <laughs> shit. The, the physics for the races are junk. Because you can go into the hardest race in the world, they'll smoke the shit out of you, but then you reload it and they drive like assholes and crash into trees all the time. So it's really just a luck thing whether or not you're going to beat these races. Sometimes they'll be so far ahead of you you can't catch up. Other times they'll be so far behind you that you can stop, get out of the car, eat a hamburger, get in the car, and drive <laughs> off, and you still win. You know, I really wish that they would have given you the options to use weapons during those races. I really wish they would give you the option to eat a hamburger in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie from the first game is back. The guy that was uh, God, he's such a bitch in this game, man. I well, no, he wasn't the first game too. Yeah, I don't know if you remember it, but he's the guy that works on cars, and he's with the Brotherhood now. He used to be with the Rollers. Lynn, I, um, I miss you. That's sweet, Donnie. I missed you too. Oh shit. You haven't seen me since your boss shot and stuffed me in the trunk of a car, and the best you can give me is, oh shit? You're supposed to be dead. That'll work. Uh, oh, yeah, did you hear about this? Fucking Hustler magazine, I think it was, or Penthouse had Shondi naked in their fucking magazine. A video game. It's like a video game, number one hottest video game chick of the year. See, they did it with Blood Rain, though, too, and like Laura Croft and whatever. I don't know. That's, that seems kind of weird. Shondi won that against those other people. Yeah. Shandi was number one, voted number one. Probably because she's the most alternative looking character. No, because she smokes weed and all the potheads are like, <laughs> fuck you, dog. <laughs> so if Laura Croft smoked weed, do you think she'd have gotten Yeah. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Maybe the next Saints Row game should have an option to not kill anybody. And you can just use like a stun gun. Or yeah, there is a stun gun. Team. Yeah, but you kill people with it. They don't you hit die. People, you hit people enough with it, they'll die. Well, I've yeah. done it. It's that's like, a, that's but, a, real, but, a real stun gun. You shoot enough in, people enough it'll you know, you know the best stun gun, though, ever? Was probably from uh, Siphonfield, the first one. You had the taser that you shot out. The one that shoots like 400 feet? Yeah, shoots 400 feet, and then you keep pressing the button down, and they catch fire. That was an <laughs> impressive stun gun. Yeah, because you weren't supposed to set them on fire. You had to let go of the button before no, they set on fire. No, it was, it, was, it was always a laugh to watch them catch fire. I swear I'm not psycho. I don't know, violence in video games is sometimes comical. Watching, I, my, one of my favorite things to do is driving a car really fast and then pressing triangle to just, oh, just, leave back just launch it. out and watch her <laughs> roll. I'm like, is that violence or is that just stupidity? I mean, it's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever play co-op, but my 
online player friend, he's he's flying the plane, and I'm like, all right, cool, we're going wherever you're taking me. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to jump back, <laughs> and then I die, and he's like frantically trying to get back to me to, to revive me, <laughs> you know, and, but he doesn't make it in time, because I'm like, I fell on the top of some building somewhere. He's flying in a plane, it's like, well, you have to try to land yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, that's a, that's a good point, the multiplayer, you definitely have more experience with it than me and Shane both yeah. combined, so how's that going? It's like, it's really fun because if you if you want to just go around and fuck shit up, that's basically what multiplayer is all about. But wait, there's like missions and stuff to do. There are, but nobody uses it for that. It's more like, let's go around together and fuck more shit up. Let's go steal like fucking SWAT tanks and just... <laughs> it's you know, so fun. Yeah, it, that, that brings up a, a good point. When I played Grand Theft Auto 4 multiplayer with Shale Riley, we didn't do any missions either. We literally got on a moped and we were just trying to avoid <laughs> getting killed while he shot everything and yeah. I was driving. I, uh, I remember you uh, watching you play that. It's like, are you playing with Shale? And you're like, yeah, yeah, we're ruining this guy's game. <laughs> and it's like, Chozo! And this guy got into a helicopter and was trying to chase down Chozo and Shale <laughs> Riley in this helicopter and he while he's just driving his little moped. Uh, uh, there's, that's a good moment. I wish people would. I wish there was. Is there an option for that in like Saints Row Two, where you could actually play against other people though and just kill them? Like I've, the I've sure there's moves. modes for it, like the gang mode. Sometimes and, people will jump in and instead of teaming up. We will just start going against each other as well. Right. We'll be like running all through the city, and when we come in across each other, we'll just start trying to kill each other. See, that sounds pretty awesome. I, like I don't think that I really want to like start any missions while that's happening, but it seems like that's that would be like one of the better things. I wish they'd make <laughs> it's like demon souls you're trying to run through and <laughs> guy just comes in and murders you for no reason. I'm like, oh thanks. Oh I've awesome. had I've had people jump in my game when I'm trying I was actually trying to do a mission at this point and some guy jumps in, I'm like, okay, maybe he's gonna help me out. And instead he just starts killing fucking police officers all around me. I'm like, oh great, now they're all after me. I just fucked up my mission. And then when it got to like all five stars he left. Fucking yes. And then he left on the face, dude. Good one. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, purchasing the property is a lot cooler in this one, too. Because, you know, not only are the stores having sales, you can buy them and get even better discounts early in the game. So, and then you start collecting that money in your, oh, in your yeah, safe. Oh, yeah, with the hook, with, so, the different, with the different uh, locations you can... Right. You so, can since you're them. early in, I would recommend, since you want to make a lot of money, buy a lot of property. Okay. And then um, just go to your base and collect it from your safe like every day, mm -hmm. like every 24 hours, it, it restocks you. And every place you own gives you an extra $200. Well, how do you buy property? Just walk up to the first sale. You have to, you have to control the territory. Yeah. And oh, then okay. once you control the territory, you can then walk up. Everything costs from like 2000 to like 5000 uh, And I think that you buy extra bases too for like 50000 some, some of them, some of them cost the less. Airport. Like the, uh... Some are 5000 Some are cheap. Yeah, like the, uh, the frat house. Right. But I always had the stripper pole. Always had the pimp stripper pole. In your in, in your my house. house. Yeah, I had the stripper pole, and I thought, oh, cool, my chick's gonna do some now. But there's no. no but then, but that's, well, that's because you're you have you have the one, uh, the only the one house right now. Yeah. The other houses, you will get stripper poles, and the strippers right. will show up with all your gang members, and then they'll all just right. sit around and watch. The more you pimp the house, you up, can't, the more people hang out. You can't it. make your character. Oh, yes, no. You know, that's another problem, too. Yeah, you should be able to make your character use the stripper pole. I yeah. mean, I'd love to see a big fat black dude jump in <laughs> the stripper pole. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. I am not going to actually do that with my character. <laughs> I don't ever want but to. But if you ever want to see Shane's jiggly bits, just make the character look like him and make him naked. There you go. <laughs> jiggly bits. So I guess that's all we got for this one. We're up. Yes, we're ending this show on with my jiggly Shane's bits. Shane's jiggly bits. <laughs> babushkas. I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, MC Reaction, for stopping by, and thank hopefully we didn't spoiler alert too much of the game. Nah, check I, out, check, check, really check, check out some of Reaction stuff. He does things every once in a while with music and yeah. some other Yeah, MCReaction.com. Woo! Yeah. It's thug as shit. He's Seriously. driving around in his black Cadillac, black, black, black. <laughs> Getting black. a million babies. Mm. Bird life. So anyways, I'm Chozo. And I'm Seamus. And this is The Zero Level. Where our opinion forms the baseline for yours. Rape jokes can still be funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Free Spoonie 2012. Free Spoonie 2012! <laughs> it probably ah. shut off halfway through all of it. Probably. Yeah, no. Keeping it gangsta. Hey,
Hey look, there's a copier over there. Sweet. Cause if I let go, then I'd be spineless, I'm going insane! Okay,